Hey guys, my name's Graham Ewans from Waves Electric Water Sports. Well, it's a windy day out here at Pittwater, but I'm here to test out the new scuba jet dive scooter. So let's have a look at what's in the box. And here we go. So, taking you through everything that's in here. We've got the scuba jet dive scooter with the impeller down here and the jet. We've got a battery. This is the 200 watt hour battery, which is comprised of two 100 watt hour components. You then put those together and screw them with these screws and then you get this that is an assembled 200 watt hour battery with those two screw points in the top I've got a spare down here we've got the nose piece for the dive scooter which goes on the end to hold the battery in and keep the whole thing watertight this guy is actually a 500 lumen lamp and so that can be activated using the dive adapter this little switch here we've got the charger power cord and this is what that power cord plugs into and the, the battery connects on the end there and holds in place with the ring and then these two components are for the remote control and the repeater which allows you to attach it to a foil the dive adapter up here slides onto the top of the scuba jet like this and then you can activate the scuba jet like that and as I say there's a little switch on the side for the LED on the scuba jet itself you've got the function ring which allows you to switch it around to wireless power level 1 2 and 3 Anyway, I'll put it together, show you what it looks like fully assembled. Okay, so here we go. That didn't take long, about 30 seconds altogether. So you've got the dive adapter on top of that. You secure the dive adapter on using that little thumb screw, just like with a lot of cameras. And to secure the end, you see you've got all those little holes there. And we've got this tool here to put on the top there and tighten it so that we've got a nice tight water seal right there. That's really important. If anything's going to go wrong with this, it's going to be that. You can forget to tighten it right down, and then uh, and then water's going to get in, and then you have big problems. So be really careful to make sure that's always secured. All right, guys, I'm ready to put on my mask and flippers and uh, head out there and have some fun.